Hello everyone, this is King Kong IoT. Last video, we have used the iPhone HomeKit to control the light uh, and the light off uh, by the Raspberry Pi, the Pi 4, and the 32 relay controller. And in this video, I will tell you how to use this switch panel to turn on and turn off the lamp. And also, you can use the, the remote wireless remote uh, but you will find when we press on and off uh, this release state will on the iPhone but when we use remote this state can be changed and also if we use the switch panel the iPhone also not changed so uh, in this video, we will we will look at how to make diagram on the node right and to get the release date of the lamp. Okay, let's begin. Uh, look at this hardware we need, and the 32 relay board, and this is Raspberry Pi Pi 4, a small board, and this is switch terminal board. This switch terminal board will use this switch panel uh, connect with the green point. And also, when you use the switch terminal board, we can use 32 remote, because every remote have uh, 16 buttons. So we need to use two remote. Uh, total have 32 channels for remote. Now we just uh, for our demo, so we look at this one for channel one. And uh, all this connect use this switch panel, wall panel. Uh, if you, you home use this panel, this is the old panel. This not not need to use, can't, can't use. You need to use this self-reset switch, like this. When press down, will out, up, down, out, up. But this old one is down, can't up. So choose this one. This one will like this panel, uh, just on and off, will self-reset. And also we have the remote. This remote has 16 channel buttons. If you want to uh, use small remote, like this, uh, small remote, or use this, or use this one, this all remote. This remote is not commonly Especially, it can copy the signal from the key, such as this key we can copy uh, uh, key 1, and this key can be 3 or 4. Just every remote, but you can read from signal, read the signal from the remote, this remote. So the all buttons can independent to all different this different remote spot, such as 1 is at this one, and 2 is at this one, and 3 is at this one. So all is no problem. Okay, now let's look at how to get the feedback of the release date on the mobile phone. Uh, if we want to know the feedback state, we need to know two information. One is whether the key is pressed and the another is the which key is pressed. So let's look at the node red. Uh, we how to do it. The information about the key feedback we need to use the TCP in node. This is TCP in. And also we we double click and we choose the connect to the controller and this is the controller port and this is the controller's IP and the output is a stream because our protocol is stream format so we choose, choose the stream and press it down and now we can press a debug node the debug node, we use a LAN connect with it and open the debug window. Uh, 
Now we need to see when we press the key and the press the remote key, what will be received. So we can press the key on. Okay, you can see the information. This is for on. And we press again. Okay, we can see also have a stream. Uh, these two stream on and off, just uh, this bit, uh, this number, this number is changed. So the one is on and the zero is off. So also we can use this remote uh, one and uh, press again off, uh, you can see the zero. Uh, so we according to this information, we can let the home kit uh, state on and off. If you use other internet board or other product, also you just can capture the uh, key of the feedback information then for the judgment uh, to let the concrete change the state. Now we can press uh, switch, switch node. The switch node, we can double click and uh, the payload is the information from the TCP in. We can choose the contents. If contains this stream copy, these streams will, will by the way one and the other way two also can choose the contents. Uh, this is turn off, turn off really. Okay, we press the down. Uh, this have two points. Uh, the upper point is key on. The down point is key off. We the information sent to this, and uh, also we uh, need two function. Need two function. This is on function, and this is this is off for the function. We can uh, try it, move it. Okay, we connect the function output to the home kit because we use the function to change the state. Also, double click the function. We input the command msg dot payload. On. This on is the home kit's property. So we need to change the property. We give it the true and also we copy. Down. And this second function, we give the on property first and uh, press the down. Okay, then we deploy. We can clear all this debug window. Now we can see the mobile phone. I press on the key. Key, you can see the mobile phone is the state is changed. And I press again, press on, and then press again. You can see now the state can be changed. When I press on and press off, when I press the key, the information will send to this switch terminal board. And this switch terminal board will send the information by this IS232 cable to the relay board. And the relay board will feed back the information from the network cable. From the network cable, to the load and the load to the Raspberry Pi for the board. So uh, the board receives the TCP information just to use this node. And this node for a switch, uh, uh, current time, the light is on. We go to this follow and change the state of the home kit. If the switch is the light is off, we we'll go to this way and uh, use the uh, use the force uh, property uh, to change the 
Honkita's property. And also, you can use remote, uh, remote, on, off, on, off, on, off. So you can see it's very easy. Just use this node. We can use the uh, release date. Uh, can be changed. So you, when you press this on, press this on, turn on by remote. Press this on, turn on by remote. Remote on by this turn off. Oh, this switch. Oh, this switch. So now you can see the state. Okay, this is very easy. Just five minutes you can do this. Uh, the second, I think now you can use the switch panel to turn on, turn off. But if you have more uh, wall switch, such as one light, you need two switch, two wall switch to control how to do. Now we. Uh, we can tell you how to do this. It's also very easy. Just uh, the switch have two lines. We need a line. We need a line. This two, this is very thin. This is network cable. Network cable. So just connect with this two hole. Okay, this this one key, one button, this one button, have this two line. This dry note, we just together this two line and with this two line, just together, just with this switch together. Uh, we can install on it. We can see this. Also, can control the lights. And uh, can you see this iPhone? Can you see this iPhone I found in this place? Okay, two switch. One at the maybe beside your, your door, and uh, another maybe beside your bed. bed. So we can. Turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. You can see when I press on and press off, and this is home kit. It it will be changed the state. Also can use this, this one, this one, this one. Okay, this is how to uh, use the node write and uh, make the state of the relay as your switch, as your remote, as your mobile phone. When I press, you can see this information is refresh for the TCP in. Okay, now you can see just uh, five minutes about you can turn on, turn off by this, by HomeKit, by iPhone, and also by the switch, and by the switch, one switch, uh, second switch. Also you can uh, use the line together by the Third switch, fourth switch, fifth switch, uh, no limit. If you use 10 or uh, 50 switch, oh no problem. Just uh, connect with the LAN together. Also, you can use many, the remote. So I think now you can uh, use your mobile phone and the switch panel and the remote uh, countering your relay output by the node red. It's very easy. Uh, I think the next video I also will make more functions about this smart country. Uh, thanks for watching.